Welcome to another video, hope everyone's doing alright and that, this time something a bit summery, fantastic, it's July here and it's belting down so British summer's in full swing, fantastic, we're going to have a go at making a quiche Lorraine or if you come from where I am, a cheese flan with some bacon in it, absolutely fantastic, it's super simple, a little bit more involved but just as easy, so grab yourself a cuppa, put your feet up and let's get stuck into it, fantastic. Right, quiche Lorraine or bacon flan, whatever you want to call it. Like I said this one's a little bit more involved. I'll try and list all the ingredients and all the equipment in the description. If I miss any, get on to us in the comments and that. But fantastic, we're going to be doing it in two stages. We're going to be making a nice short crust pastry and preparing the, the, the case. And we're going to be doing the, um, the filling, absolutely fantastic. I tell you what, there was no quiche Lorraine where I come from, you know, it was a bacon flan. Or cheese flan and that, fantastic. But for the pastry, super simple. We're using 200 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of cold butter, which I've diced up, and some cold water, and a little bit of salt, which I'm going to stick in now because I will forget. Just a tiny little bit of salt, fantastic. And the filling, easy again. We've got some bacon. This is streaky bacon, which has been chopped up. Some onion, this is frozen red onion, but you can use any onion you want, just slice it how you like it and that. I find these shop-bought quiches and that, they've got no filling whatsoever, you know, it's just egg, you just buy an egg and pastry. Not great, not great. And um, I'm going to be using three eggs, or two large eggs, if you've got big eggs and that, fantastic. And about 125 grams of mature cheddar, this is number five, strong as you like and that, fantastic. And 200 grams or 250 grams, whatever is in this container of British single cream. Fantastic. A few spears of fry light. Right, we'll start with the pastry and that. But the first job you want to do is clear your shelf big enough to take your flan tray and that. I'm using this one. I forgot what size it is, but it's an, just an average one. I think I got it for my Wilco's before it closed down. Fantastic. But you want a, a space in your fridge to big enough to take that. Fantastic. And another useful thing you're going to be needing is some of these bacon beans and that. You can use rice and that, like, but these are handy as out, man. Handy as out. Fantastic. Right, in a bowl, I've stuck 200 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt. And I'm just going to chuck this cube butter in. Fantastic. I've got a wooden spoon here to get it out. Really simple as pastry, you know. And basically all I'm going to do, I'm going to use my mixer. These are really useful, you know. If, you, if you're going to pick a bit of kitchen kit, get yourself one of these. They're only about a tenner. Fantastic. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to break it down into a breadcrumb consistency. So simple, so simple. It's going to be noisy. So I'll probably transition it and that. And fantastic. Right, let's go. That took about a minute and I've got that fine consistency. The key with good pastry, you know, is to keep your hands off it. Keep your hands off it as long as you can and you'll be alright. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take the wooden spoon that I suck the butter in with. I'm just going to put a bit of water in. I'm just going to mix it and bring it together. I'm just going to start with a few drops. I want a nice ball of firm pastry. Fantastic. I'm just going to mix it in. And I'm going to go as long as I can with this. Then I'm going to have to get stuck it with my hands. But fantastic. That looks like it's about as far as I can go with this. It's time to get my hands dirty in that. Fantastic. I love it. Love it. I'm just going to bring it all together into a nice ball. Some of it's got out in that. That's fantastic. You're always going to make a mess in your kitchen if you bake. Like You should see either side of us when I make these YouTube videos. The kitchen just goes into absolute chaos, mate. Absolute chaos. You're trying to get a camera angle, that doesn't show the mess. I'm just going to use some flour out of my bag to dust my board and that. I want this as bone dry as I can, then the pastry won't stick. Fantastic. 
And I'm also, at the same time, going to dust this out and it'll just stop it sticking in the oven. I've seen people grease them and that, but I just find a, a good dose of flour does just as well, like, fantastic. We'll stick that to one side for now. We'll bring the pastry out. Look at that, it's firm, it's nice. Might be a bit dry, because it's cracking a little bit, but we'll see if we can get away with it. Because the thing with a, key, a quiche or a flan, I'm calling it a quiche now, you know, because I must have got posh in my old age, is you want the pastry quite dry anyway, like. Let's get rid of that dish, because uh, we don't need that anymore. And yeah, we're just going to roll it out now, to the size of this, in an inch or two. So it can come up the sides, fantastic. Dust me rolling pin. A little bit more, I think, a little bit more. We're good, we're good. Fantastic. Don't worry if you get any holes in it or not, you can repair them. Fantastic. I'm just going to give it one last check. That'll do for me. We're going to bring the tray in. I'm just going to lay it over the top and press it down. Fantastic. Just want to hang it in slack in that. Don't have to put much pressure on it. But you will end up with like, there's a thin spot there. That bit's not built up properly, don't worry about that. That's that's fine, that's fine. So we can just rip a little bit off, repair it, you know what I mean? Gordon Ramsay's not coming to dinner, you know? So, you're all right, I bet he repairs his flan bases anyway. Right, that's our flan base in, fantastic. I'm not gonna trim it until it's been in the fridge and rested properly. Then I'll give any shrinkage in that a good, a good chance. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna get a fork and I'm just going to start piercing the bottom, not massive rips, that one was a bit too much, but just little pricks, and it'll stop any, any blow-ups, you won't get a twisted flan in that, fantastic, right, I'm going to stick this in the fridge, 15 minutes, have a little dust down, and we'll move on and start the filling, fantastic, right, let's get on and start the filling, absolutely fantastic, we're going to start it off on the hob in that, I've heated a frying pan up with a few sprays of fry light in it. I'm just going to check to see if it's hot. That's fantastic. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cook my onions off for a few minutes and I'm going to cook my bacon off for a few minutes. You can do all this in advance, you know. Listen to that sizzle. I love that sizzle of a frying pan, you know. Sounds lush. It'll just soften them up a little bit and make them taste nicer in the aim. Um, in the flan, fantastic. My bacon, I've got streaky bacon. I got it from Iceland, you know the frozen bags? Fantastic, but you can use any bacon you want, really, like, use anything you want, put, put whatever you want in it. Absolutely fantastic. If you don't like meat and that, put peppers and all that, and mushrooms and that, it's lush. But we're just gonna sprinkle it in. I'm gonna cook it off for a few minutes. I see you can do all this in advance, you can make the pastry in advance. You can cook this off in advance, fantastic. Right, that's good enough, good enough for me. The onions are nice and soft. The bacon's got some flavour in it now and that, fantastic. We'll take it off the hob. I'm just going to decant it into this box and just let it sit and cool itself off a bit while we sort the case and the rest of the um, filling out, fantastic. Right, before I get the case out the fridge, and we'll build a masterpiece, we've just got one last little bit of messing about to do. And that's to make a custardy type thing. So I've got myself a nice big jug and I'm going to put three eggs in. These are like medium eggs. I think I uh, pulled a short straw at the supermarket because they're tiny. But I'm going to be using three. If you've got large eggs, just use two. We're going to put them in a bowl. Or a jug, whatever. We'll get rid of them because we don't need them anymore. Fantastic, they can go into the big pile of doom that I've got after I've made my video. And we're going to put in this uh, tub of fresh cream. 
It's single cream. There's 300 mils in here. So I'm just going to go in with most of it, to be honest with you, like. Fantastic. We'll get rid of that. Like I say I don't really measure stuff out in that. I measure pastry out and I measure cakes and that out because bacon's a different art to cooking, like. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to put a little bit of black pepper in. Fantastic. I'm not going to put any more salt in because I don't know how salty the cheese is. And I've already put a little bit of salt in the pastry, so we're good there in that. Yeah, and we're just going to give it a good mix up. It's like making a, a dodgy scrambled egg mix or something, or a custard without the flour. Be nice and thick in that, like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look lush? Right, I'm going to put that one side and let's start bringing this together. Right, back to the flan case. Fantastic. I've took it out of the fridge and I've sat it on this tray just to make it a bit easier to handle in that because you don't want to be handling this when it's red hot. But the next stage is we're going to prepare this for blind baking. Fantastic. I'm going to trim the edge now. Hopefully I won't get any more shrinkage. I might do though, I might do. So who knows? But I'm just going to run a rolling pin across the top. I'm just going to pick the scrap bits off. I'll probably make some jam tarts or something later with this lot, like. Won't go to waste, that's for sure. Just going to make sure all my edges are in nicely in that. That's fantastic. And I'm going to line it with a bit of silver paper. You can use parchment paper in that. I'm only using this because I haven't got any. But I'm going to put it in. Again, just push it in nicely. Doesn't matter about these bits and that, that's fine. Then we're going to go in with the baking beans. Like I say, these are so useful, like, you can use um, rice and that, but I find rice doesn't heat up properly and that. We're just going to fill this up, spread them out evenly. And this is going to go into the oven now, at 220 degrees, so a nice hot oven, for 10 minutes. We're going to come back, we're going to remove the beans, then we're going to stick it in for about another two, three minutes. Then we're going to fill it. Fantastic. Right, we've had our first ten minutes. Fantastic. I'm just going to remove the beans and the tin foil. I'm not going to put them back in here because I learnt my lesson before. Not good, not good. But I'm just going to dump them in my frying pan to cool off. And fantastic. Hopefully it's not too hot. Hey. There we have it, that's what case. I'm going to stick this back in the oven now for a couple of minutes just to dry this bottom out a bit and that and a bit of the edges and fantastic. Right, I've took this back out the oven now. It's had a couple of minutes just to dry up a little bit and that. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for what we need. And now I'm going to turn the oven down. I'm going to turn it down to 180. Pretty important this because you'll end up destroying your quiche. Fantastic. And we're just going to start filling it up. It has come away a little bit at the side there, a little bit more shrinkage and that. But hey, it's fine, isn't it? It's fine, why I look homemade then. But we're going to go with more bacon and more onions and that. I love loads of filling in mine, you know. The supermarkets are rubbish for filling them, like. You just get, you just get egg, don't you? Egg, a little bit of cheese. And you've got to go hunting the meat down, like. But look at that, loads of meat in that one, man, fantastic. The more filling you put in as well, I find, the quicker it takes to cook. And we're going to go in with some cheese, mature cheddar. I've seen a lot of recipes when I was doing my research for uh, using gruyere, 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 I can't even say it. But we never had that as a kid, it was cheese, cheese was cheese, it was either yellow or it was orange. Fantastic. But we'll just whack it all in. Fantastic, look at that. And last of all, we're going to put a little custody type mix in and that. I'm just going to give it a nice little mix up in case it's settled itself. And I'm just going to take my time and I'm just going to fill it. Let it find its own, its own route in. It'll find its way. Fantastic. Look at that. Doesn't that look lush? 
So let's soak itself in. Hey. Fantastic. Right. This now is going to go into an oven for about between 25 and about 45 minutes. It's a widespread, but just keep an eye on it because we don't want to overcook it. We want to pull it out just as it's setting. And it'll be absolutely fantastic because it'll carry on cooking when we take it out of the oven and it'll end up perfect. So, see you in 30 minutes. We'll see what we've made. We'll taste it. We'll bring the video in. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we've had about 35 minutes and check that bad boy out. Are you having that? Absolutely fantastic. That looks lush. Going to let it set, sit for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Take this thing out of it, it will settle itself down in that. There's a little bit of egg breakage around here, but that will settle itself back. Right, we've had about 15 minutes. I've took it out of its container and check that bad boy out. Absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm going to bring a plate in. Bit of salad and that, so I look all tidy on YouTube and that. Fantastic. I've got a nice big knife. Yeah, let's cut it open and see what we've got. Absolutely fantastic. The eggs set nicely. Pastry's nicely cooked through. I'm going to have a nice big chunk here. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, hit likes and subscribes. Do all the youtube stuff for us and that. If I go missing in the next couple of weeks, it's because I could be moving home. So, we might have a new Joe's Kitchen. Fantastic. But we'll have a look at that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, get in the comments, tell us how you make your quiches and that. Tell us what you like in them. Right, let's get stuck into this. Absolutely fantastic. Quiche Lorraine, bacon and cheese tart, flan, whatever you want to call it. It's fantastic. Look at that. It's held together lush and that. Loads of meat in it. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's have a taste. Tastes lush. Can't wait to have it with a pile of chips and a bit of salad later. Fantastic. Right. See you in the next video. Take care. See you later. Ta-da.